Saturday, best day for locals. It's Yu-Gi-Oh time, baby. Pendulum Sword Soul, let's go. <laughs> Yo, Tino, are you gonna win the tournament today? I might. You might, obviously not, you like the Giants. <laughs> If you look at all the talent we have in the roster for Saturday night, who do you guys think is going to win? I, I believe in Max. He's got two of his best cards now. He was playing only with one of them for the first, like, six tournaments. He's in fourth place on the leaderboard right now. So you're telling me Max is going to beat me? I, I think so, yes. What the heck? You're going down today, though, bro. I'm getting my revenge. I'm going to clap up the <laughs> Guys, I got some bad news, okay? I got some bad news. So what we do here at Game Nation is we tally the points of every single locals who wins the most, etc. Now, contrary to my belief, I thought I was first place. What? You did not know you were first place. I Everybody did. Everybody knows it. Yo, your grandma knows you weren't first place. I have first place. I, I, was, I, I was fourth. Noctran first place. I'm going to destroy him. Ali Imran, he plays Flunder. That's instantly X. Victor? <laughs> And then me. That right there is unacceptable, ladies and gents. See what happens when you uh, you prioritize smelling delicious and cute. I don't. What? The, I just put on you normal. Walked in here smelling like a birthday cake for thirty guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. I went to the gym, and after the gym, like a normal human being, I put some cologne on, and then I came back here. I'm at the gym. And you want me to shower in the gym? Shower. There are showers in the gym. I don't, I don't, I'm not showering in no I gym. In smelling like mm, sweet body axe for men. It's not, I'm not green eight. I don't use axe. What were you using? I honestly don't know what it's called, but it smells good, so I use it. Yo, everyone, I'm about to introduce to you guys my official protege, Max. Max, you're gonna destroy everyone. You're, you're fifth in the, in the rankings at the moment. You're, you're gonna finish first, okay? Have you guys ever seen a locals more sus than this one? <laughs> sus or not? I'm finishing first in this leaderboard. Max is finishing second, and no one sends a chance. Let's go. Yo, guys, who's gonna win today's tournament? Not me. What the heck? I thought we were boys. Didi is gonna win. Yeah. But what if I beat you? You don't beat me. But I will. You don't beat me. Well, well, we'll see you tonight. We'll see you tonight. Slash today. 10 minutes to go until round one starts. I just came fresh from the gym. So I got to go fucking change. I have my t-shirt in the car. I'm going to switch to the t-shirt. Oh, 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 look at those big ass biceps. All right, don't you love the pump after after back day, bicep day? Oof, the greatest. Well, how come that building looks like a massive transformer or some shit that's going to like clap us? But anyways, if a transformer came down on earth, I would fuck that shit up. One look at me, the Transformer will go back to fucking Decepticon, whatever the fuck country they came from. I'm telling you guys right now, if aliens came to Earth, we just send Triff Gaming and I'll deal with them one by one with my Jackal King. They will see Triff Gaming's beard and be in shambles. They will literally run back to wherever little tiny last planet they came from. So we're good. I got you guys, don't worry. You guys could feel safe with me around. Could someone explain this math to me? I take off my sweater for a t-shirt and it gets fucking cold out of nowhere. What the heck? Ready to duel. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you with my pendulum deck. So your pendulum deck is better than my pendulum deck? Yes, it is. What the heck? Thanks for telling me you play. He plays DD. We got his ass, baby. Let's go. Oh, we'll see whose deck is better than whose. We'll see whose deck is better than whose. If you think your little DD deck is gonna defeat the best deck in the planet, you are mistaken, my friend. Today's vlog, Saturday, best day, let's go. We are, we lost a dice roll here, round one against DDs. I'm gonna slow this down a bit compared to normal so I can actually explain the plays. So pay close attention, baby, let's go. And the finals is gonna be super slowed down, so uh, stay tuned. Here we start off with Zephra, Pancarlo Taye, let's go. You do not wanna play with Sword Souls against the rank six XYZ. On my Patreon, I discussed this. I'ma clear this board like it's baby food. Chain block everything to be able to utilize exactly what you need to clear the board exactly how you need. You There's specific ways to clear this DD board without side cards, and it's very fucking easy. It's actually incredibly easy. Look at that. We chain blocked to actually trigger what we wanted out here. That way we could get the Baron out here. And this just it literally clears the entire board L easily, easily. And then we go Needle Fiber for game. Or look at this. Too easy. 
he ghost spells i'm like that's fine we had another tuner uh no we didn't have a tuner or did we i yeah we did not have a tuner but it's all good we just popped the scale we're left with double negate and there's nothing you could do that's just gg for us let's go let's go there's no way we could lose this he goes period raise map and guys i'm telling you right now check out the patreon we have absolutely incredible content on how to play pendulums we just cleared a dd board like it was baby food like it was nothing we set up multiple negates afterwards so we talk about this all the time also a cool thing we're doing on patreon moving forward i haven't discussed this anywhere this is the first time you're gonna hear it is that everyone who signs up for the tier zero membership gets to pick any deck that they love whether it be tcg master duel and dmi and tcg and dmi and master duel dds zephyr doesn't matter metal foes I just bought a Metal Force deck. Doesn't matter what deck it is. Tell me what it is. We're going to do a lesson plan in the whole week for that deck that you want. So sign up on Tier Zero Patreon now. Let's go. Now we're going to go on to game number two. Now, as you see there, there's an Ash. So I put in extra hand traps. I tried out a different build for today. And look at that. It stopped him. He Ashes that, but that's okay because that was my bait because I had another Zephyrath. See that play right there? You, If you have double Zephyrath, double Zephyr cards, I got a Zephyrath and a Zephyr Providence. I baited his ass on the Zephyr Providence. I'm like, I activated the Zephyr Providence so damn fast to show that I needed it to resolve. Lenina Gates is sadly Gamma is hurt there, but that is okay with us. So he opted on his turn not to Ash, uh, not to Gamma our Ash. Most likely, as you saw, Contract was his only play. So he recognized, yo, I'm, I'm going to get clapped up. Probably another hand trap. So he opted not to. He summons Kepler here, and instantly I'm just like, man, uh, things ain't looking too hot uh so but it's all good it's all good it's all good it's all good you want to know why because the pen god don't give up baby the pen god don't give up let's go sadly we didn't draw anything good there we are going to set one card and we're just trying to survive one turn that's all we're trying to do we're trying to survive one or two turns because if you give pendulums an extra turn on especially on a trip gaming magician playmat you already know i'm going to draw harmonizing you already know harmonizing is calling out to me baby you look at my playmat on www.tripgaming.com which you should get now while supplies last let's go anyways sadly the harmonizing did not come to us and he got gilgamesh before we got harmonizing we imperm his ass and uh he is going to give us another turn he opts not to go for the xyz i do not agree with that play i, sh he, I think he should have gone for the xyz there now we have a, a situ a potential chance he rivalry warlords gets rid of our despot 01 and we have no card for moye because we have to summon it Robbery destroys us here. So he's definitely playing it super easy. He wanted his contract to survive on field, knowing rivalry will, will give him victory in this game. I'm like, damn. I'm still gonna. He, he doesn't know about our Providence in the graveyard. So I don't wanna scoop just yet because I, as you saw that he didn't account for it. I have one more turn. Who knows what I could draw? They didn't draw anything. And then that's, that's just game on board. So now we're gonna go on to game number three. And th things ain't. I, mean, I can't believe I dropped the game to DD. DD, going second against DD is actually very easy, especially with hand traps. The deck cannot play around hand traps. Against hand traps, you literally stop Gilgamesh, and that deck ends on X on the XYZ pass. That shit's easy as hell to stop. Anyways, we start off here. I look at my hand, I'm like, all right. Uh I got Zephrath. Uh I got this. I actually discard my Ash because we're short on time right now. So I don't think my hand trap will matter. I don't put a big ass board. I go needle fiber Oridon. At this point, time gets called. So I'm like, okay, let's go Yazi. Let's bring out uh Long Yuan. Uh, I'm thinking a little too hard here. I don't want to spend too much, so I just summon Long Yuan. I completely forget it's not a tuner. So I just summon a Lamia, Dragster, and I kill him for burn in, in time. Gaga Cowboy, baby, let's go. Great match there. We came out on top, baby. Let's go. Next round is about to start. Next round's about to start. We got to go 2 0. We got to finish first place, baby. Let's go. Guys, I like this deck a lot, but I want Brave Tokens. Someone sell me fucking Brave Tokens. Sell me, oh, sell me a Brave deck. I need that. I too many <laughs> on the We are 1-0. About to be 2-0. Let's go. Heroes time. So this match here, man, I'm not going to lie. We do have a tough time with Darklaw, guys. We do have a rough time with Darklaw. And uh, he does end up with Darklaw DPE and hand traps here. So we're going to do our best. Darklaw destroys Sword Soul, man. It destroys Sword Soul. But guess what? Guess what? Am I the Sword Soul God? No. I'm the pen god, baby. I, I'm glad he got rid of the Moye. Fuck Moye. We're a pen player, but we're not a Sword Soul player. As far as I'm concerned, we're playing a Pendulum deck with a small little Sword Soul engine. We're lit. We good. We good. We good, baby. And we just good because of the playmat. I'm telling you. Get your playmats now, baby. I'm telling you. They're going to sell out soon. You got to get them. 
We're actually gonna do a whole new website with with Team Summer X1. Uh, he's gonna help me out with it. We're gonna do a brand new match. So all my current stock, uh, the whole website is gonna close down. So you guys gotta get it while it lasts. Anyways, enough playing my talk. Let's talk about the Barone talk, baby. Because this bear in the floor is gonna say see you later into the entire board. Let's go. See that? I so instantly I, I uh he, he's doing his mass change in a smart way. Uh he wanted to save the, the dark off from getting destroyed because I baron popped it. Uh, so instantly I'm like, all right, I just got to enter battle phase and clear that shit. I got to get that out of there. Uh, I linked those two into needle fiber, needle fiber going into Lamia. I have no space. And I get hit with Nibiru. I'm like, fuck, dude. They were, I could not play around Nibiru plus DPE plus Dark Claw. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And that was double Dark Claw. So uh, it, it was too difficult. You know what, though? I did end on the Divine Strike, which is very impressive. Like I cleared his entire thing and Divine Strike. Sadly, he just pops it and he's going straight into, you know, hero OTK here. So by the looks of it, man, we're going to lose game one here by the looks of it. And this is, damn, he's going to go for game like, damn, there's nothing you can do, man. If you lose it, we lost two dice so far. There's nothing you can do. We won the round one. Okay, now round two. Heroes, I'm telling you, man, Dark Law is very underrated this format. You can even play heroes in pendulums. <laughs> cough, cough for all the Patreon lovers out there that love heroes. And want to see hero pendulums, just sign up with tier zero. Tell me to play hero pendulums. I got you, baby. Let's go. Now, here's what I need. I need to draw a normal pendulum hand because normal pendulum hands play through hand traps like literally nothing. Like, I don't care. You could ash my pen call. I don't give a fuck. We're just going to play like normal, uh, but it's all good. So here I'm going to pendulum three monsters. I save my normal summon. All uh, right, a normal the Lamia. Uh, I do not want to get hit with Nibiru. Uh, I, I allow the Imperm to resolve and I set two. Okay, why? Because I know for a fact that Baron, Divine Strike, and Needle Fiber's effect will be enough to stop a hero player. If you use the interruptions at the right time, it is very easy to defeat this deck. I go Desert Locust, forcing him to discard a card, discarding the Ash, and it's all good in the hood here. It's all good. I Divine Strike his one monster. He is left with just one Verte. And he go, brings out the, the DPE. And now things are looking pretty bad, right? Things are looking pretty bad. Well, let me enlighten you guys on something very beautiful. It's called the Church of Pendulums. If you think one DPE with no cards in hand is enough, that's enough to stop any other trash deck. It's not enough to stop the best deck. Here we pen call. Pendulum summon. Look at this. Look at this. He has no cards left on field. Do you have any idea how easy it is? Like, even when you have zero cards, this is what people say. Oh, Pendulum, don't have a follow-up, bro. If your board's gone, you lose. Shut the hell up. We have something called a Pendulum Summon. We have something called a Pendulum Summon. And all, look what I'm about to do here. Look what I'm about to do. I'm calculating victory. I'm calculating. And the only thing I calculated there was that my extra deck was ass. Holy shit. Guys, guys, listen. We need to play Savage Dragon. We need to play Savage Dragon. We need to play a Synchro 8 that, that's not Baxia. We just need to do it because I don't have any fucking Synchro 8. I can make a Harmo and with Celestial Magician. Man, hella disappointing, hella disappointing. But you know what? That's all good. That's all good. I got some follow up. I got some follow up. We're going to be good next turn. I protect my Zephyr with my Zephyr Providence. I'm like, all right, let me draw something good. Let me draw something good here. Let me draw something good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Normal Kepler. I'm going to activate Kepler effect. Bring, I'm going to bring a Lamia. Lamia Yazi. Pop the DPE. Ah! Let's go! Yim from the like, Kepler! It's not enough! Yazi! Ah! Let's go! The beauty of them together! Baxia Shuffle! Summon Moye Pen! Attack for game! Ah! What a comeback, bro! Ah, I was down and out! I was down and out! Guys, that game was like 30 minutes long. We're literally... It's his turn. There's one minute left on the clock here. We're going down to the wire. One minute left and he breaks! One minute left! Ten seconds left and he breaks! Bye, let's go! Best deck, baby! Ah, what a victory! Holy shit! Man, that victory was insane. Pen best deck, that's all I gotta say. Let's go. Yo, Hero God, you're gonna win your next four. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I gotta leave for a movie later. So oh! Wow. You're, you're, going, you're going on a date? Nah, nah. We're, we're well, going, why are you I'm lying? Going. You're going to go out with like three girls at once. Incredible comeback. We did it. We're 2 0. We gotta go 3 0 now. I don't know who we face next, but whoever it is, that was an amazing match. Heroes could do a lot of shit. Dark Lord claps, Sword Soul up. Sword Soul some ass, dude.
I want to play Pierre Pendulum. Let's see who we face next. We face. Yo, Dylan! Yo, Dylan! Yo, can you come here, please? For videos, thank you. Facing off my boy Dylan. Let's go. What a victory that was, bro. On to round three. We actually lost to Dice Will again, but he's playing Blind Second Sky Striker. So he opts for us to go first. Here, you can see a Gamma in his hand, but he's playing Blind Second. So he wants his Gamma to be live in conjunction with his Widow Anchor and his spells in his hand, which won't matter too much because I'm going to set up a massive board. This play you see right here is very important, all right? I'm setting up Baron and she Shao before my Pen Summon. She Shao is giving me free value, and Baron, like, the, the discard for Long One is free because of she Shao. So if he nibs on the Long One, doesn't matter. So we're protected here. We go Needle Fiber, Lamia. We're going to put up a Chao Fang. I don't know what he's playing, but just in case, uh, Chao Fang, Baron, she Shao, Double Trap. He Widow Anchors, but actually on draw phase. So I negate with Baron, and then I divine, uh, yeah, I negate with Baron. He can't Gamma because of Chao Fang, and I use the effect in standby phase to bring up Baxia. So I could pop it if I want with my pop two card. He has Ray here. I bring up Formula Synchron and I'm like, all right, let me think here. No, I believe, what, yeah, so he's gonna have that out. So that, what happened was I let the negate go through on draw phase and then on standby, I put it back and Formula is gonna bring bring it back. So when he negated in draw phase, I made, yeah, or no, I did negate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have Formula and Baxia. The Formula and Baxia, I believe we're gonna go to Cheng Ying and that was gonna be my play there. And uh, make sure to utilize Needle Fiber for Formula or Desert Locust. As you guys see me doing multiple, multiple times, uh, it's very easy it's free it's fucking free dude it, it's literally free to use formula effect after he saw my massive seven negate board he put he go, decides to go first this time i see lots of back row. i'm a little like don't be scared of back row, but like you gotta kind of respect it so he goes widow he goes cosmic you gotta play accordingly uh i recognize taie has uh 1800 so i made sure to summon that over moye to be able to clear it i understand he has engaged but i wanted to clear the shizuku to force him to, to have to search uh, for a ray or a rose he ends up getting it with a zero anyways he goes hayate i'm like you know this is all good right now we still have you know strikers can't kill so the beautiful thing that pendulum has over sky striker is is, is that they, they don't have much time until you set up an unbreakable board so you could have like three turns and like they're gonna still have the same uh basically plus one and plus two advantage than before it doesn't really matter so here we're gonna set up zephrath i go zephyr providence here uh, I'm just I'm thinking I'm like man I'm, let me just crash this set up divine strike I don't have scales at the moment I need to draw low scale like you cannot give pendulum this much time he passes long you want I get gamma I'm like fuck dude he goes goods I'm like man I just need to draw low scale and it's over I get emergence I'm like let's go moye fucking widow anchor he gets the the uh, the, uh, the area zero I'm like shit uh, he takes that he puts up phoenix he wants to pop my back my uh, zephyr but I protect it with providence providence a lot of people forget about it i just need a low scale this duel's over i set so i don't die i literally just need a fucking low scale and this duel is over he does not play dpe he goes unicorn all my skills are gone seven providence boom normal summon i get white wing i get needle fiber if this resolves i win the duel yazi ordon summoned up i get nibiru i lose but i get this i just need this shit to resolve i need this shit to resolve and guess what baby it resolves baby they're in popping time for game ah let's go 10 best deck. We are 3 0. We have two more to win the Saturday tournament. Cheer me on, baby. Let's go. Yo, Tino, what's your record? Next two. Ah, oh, it's okay. Next one, you're going to go 2 0. Yeah. 3 0. Let's go. Yo, Knock, what's your record, bro? Uh, X1. X1. Damn. Yo, who's X0 right now? Uh, I'm whooping your ass next round. Is next round the last round? I think it's five rounds. Five I just assume it's five because it's Saturday. Yeah, it's five. This is round three? Yeah. So this is round four is next. Guys, we're 3-0. We played great there. It was a great match. Very solid match against Sky Psyker. I'm going to have to win. Ray keeps talking shit that I keep losing. He's not wrong. I do keep losing. It's fucking pathetic. So we're going to win the next two. We're going to win the whole tournament. Call it a day. Get an ulti uh, Ecclesia or some shit. And let's go. Next round's about to start. We're 3-0. We need to win, dude. We need to win. Tino, I need a motivational speech from you, bro. Go get him, Tiger. Let's fucking go! I'm gonna need a motivational speech from you. What? Give me your best shot. Motivational speech, go! Pendulum what the heck? <laughs> is that a motivational speech? Even, motivational for me. Steven, let's be honest here. Yeah, he can motivated. give you the best motiva I didn't see a motivational speech in the world. And it still wouldn't help you beat him. He would still <laughs> slaughter you. Are you willing Are you willing to duel for your satellite warrior? It's his satellite warrior. It's his. Are you willing to duel... For John Satellite Warrior. I don't care about the Satellite Warrior. I'm pretty sure he could slaughter you. <laughs> Just look at the last video. Oh! 
Is this a challenge? I, I accept the challenge if you're if you're issuing a challenge. I'm not issuing anything. John's <laughs> issuing things. John, are you issuing a challenge for your son? Are you choosing Ryan as your champion? John. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll put up. Uh, what's the equal value? How much is Sunlight yeah. Warrior worth? Like six, six bucks. Six okay. bucks. Okay. <laughs> I'm finally gonna get a Sunlight Warrior, baby. Let's go. Ryan's absolute clap will have to wait for now. Me and Victor, next round. You ready? Let's do it, boys. Round number four. I hope you guys are enjoying this extended action. I made sure to... Typically, I make everything times 10 speed. I'm currently doing times 8 speed. And the finals is times 4 speed. So, you'll be able to basically see the entire duel as it happens. If I made all 5 full speed, this is a 3-hour video. So, no one's trying to watch a 3-hour video. Otherwise, I would love to have them all uh, normal speed. We get ashed. But as you see here, what's one ash blossom going to do to the best deck? Look at this through ash blossom we don't care about ash blossom we don't care about ash but we set up double trap with look at this double trap bro moye everything double trap baron she shall uh baxi is gonna get a, another free card here baxi is gonna pop the summon out get me a dragster look at this set three four synchros through an ash blossom and imperm he had ash and imperm still does not matter ash and imperm bro ash and imperm we put up four synchros three traps bro see ya or two traps on a bluff See ya, pen best deck on a trip play, man. Uh, 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 let's go, Victor. Yeah, that's my dog, but Victor, yo, you cannot defeat the pen god. No one can defeat the pen god. Uh, we'll see if he have better luck when he goes first here. DD's does put up a nice board, especially against the sword soul package. Pendulums actually, pure pendulums clap up this whole DD deck. Uh, but man, it really hurts. That rank six really destroys sword soul, so we got to be careful. Uh, if you see the spell he used, he used Piri Raise Map instantly when he activated it. I'm trying not to show what my win con is here, but the win con is very simple. Piri Raise Map does 4,000 damage, right? Gilgamesh does 1,000 damage. Ragnarok also does 1,000 damage. Combine those together, you got 6,000. Meaning he has 2,000 life points left. He always ends on contract, two different dark contracts. Each of those contracts do 1,000 burn damage. Instantly, when I see Piri Raise Map against uh, DDs, I instantly know, all right, He's going to be at 2,000 life points when he passes. And he's going to be at two contracts. He has Kali Yuga up. My game plan is very simple. Negate Kali Yuga. Win the duel in his standby phase without doing a single point of damage. So I'm thinking very hard here. All right. How can I stop him? How can I stop Kali Yuga from popping his own back row? That's what I'm trying to do here. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm going to chain block every single one of my pendulum summons to ensure that on his turn, I negate that Kali Yuga. Sadly, I'd sided out Divine Strike. Something that's very important in this deck ne against DDs, never side out Divine Strike. I typically side out all, all my traps going second. But in situations when they start off with Piri Raise Map, you are able to counter trap their out and not have it negated by the rank 10. I chain block in a way that I did there to be able to set up my victory. So I want you guys to pay close attention here. Okay. I make Baron because Zephyr Nui, I made a tuner via Zephraxi. I draw off Moye here. I normal summon get Herald. You see that? I get Herald and Baron. I'm not clearing his board. I can't clear his board. Those are some big ass monsters. But via chain blocking, I make Baron and Herald. And I pass. I believe I popped. I negated the Kali Yuga. All my negates are gone. Inibiru's? No problem. Pass. Burn 2,000 by the contracts. GG. I did zero points of damage. DD's burn for 8,000. That's how you destroy DD. Post side deck with Pure Ace Map. Let's fucking go. No side cards needed. Ah! Solid match there. We didn't even have to do one damage. Luckily, that's what DDs do. That is a, that is a win con against DDs. It, it wasn't. A, it, it was, I definitely sacked him. I'm not gonna lie. That was definitely a sack. We're not gonna lie. But that was that was definitely a huge like. It is a win con against DDs. So when your opponent activates Kiri Raise Map, you should recognize that he's gonna be at 2,000 life points and has two contracts in the field. Literally burn 2,000. So the game plan here is 
literally just set up negates. You have to activate pure raise map. Set up negates to set, make it so he can't pop his own spawn traps. And don't give him a card to negate with uh, his red gate. GG, baby. Let's go. We're 4 0. -oh. One more round for, to win the Saturday locals. Penma's deck. Yo, Victor, how do you feel about that loss, my friend? I deserve it. For being greedy. I don't blame Victor for that. Uh, no one's expecting a Herald. I got lucky to draw basically the only level one in my fucking deck, I, I, except for Valor that I sided in. So we got pretty lucky there. Uh, pen best deck, baby. Held second best deck. Held second best deck. At the moment, we are 4-0. We got to go 5-0. One last round. We got to win this last round. We win this last round, and we win the whole tournament, bumping our points up way much. And I don't want to be fourth in the standings. We are 4-0. We stepped up for the first time since the tournament. Guys. We can't lose. We got to win this. We got to win this. It's literally inexcusable if we lose. We're 4-0. We got to be 5-0. We win this. We win the tournament, baby. There's a lot riding on this last round. We got to win. Let's go. Yo, Brodergy. Yo. What's your record? X1. X1, let's go! I lost to Victor. You got revenge for me. Nice, I got you. I got you. So here's the plan. Here's the plan. Yeah. I'm XO. Mm -hmm. I'm going to win the next game. Right, of course. You're going to win the next game. Not then true. we're going to finish first, second. Mm -hmm. All right, sick. It's a plan. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Going into last round now. I'm, there's no XOs except for myself. We're facing XO1 right now. We win this. We win the tournament. That's it. We need to win. We cannot lose. There's no options for defeat. It's victory or victory. Nothing else. Let's go, baby. Finals time, baby! Let's go! I had to whip out the uh, beautiful Alex playmat from my boy who's met me in the finals. I'm 4-0. He is 4-0-1. Let us proceed. I slowed this one down big time. I'm testing something out new for this vlog where I made everything a little slower just to keep up what's going on, but it's going to result in the video being way longer. He is playing a really cool deck, and that is Brave Salamangre. Actually works out incredibly well because they don't really like you just special gazelle so it's all good um he ends up winning the dice roll man i think i only won one dice roll against victor but guess what don't matter that's no excuse we're just gonna win i understand he's playing on the most beautiful playmat of all time but guess what i'm playing on the most second most beautiful playmat of all time so for that sole reason we're gonna win this sets up dpe here with the whole salamangre package and the brave package He's got it going right here. We got to find a way to pull through. This is the best that his deck could possibly open. And I want you guys to witness this absolute surgical precision. That's remarkable. He negates the, the Ecclesia. I'm like, that's fine. I go Emergence. I am literally surgical precision. Call me a fucking doctor, baby. Dr. Triff, bro. Let's go. That's what I'll be referred to from now on when I clear this board. So I put up Moye and Token. He pops the Token. Uh, or, yeah. Uh, he goes Droplets. I'm like, damn. He's gonna get all my stuff here. I'm like, damn. So damn. Droplets. Damn. Damn. Guess what? Guess what? Droplets. Droplets. Yeah, you guys think I care about droplets? What the heck? I'm playing the best deck. You guys, you guys think I care about droplets? What? Like, you guys think I care about droplets? I'm calculating victory here. So I'm calculating. All his interruptions are gone. This is surgical precision. He had to pop the token, uh, so I can't synchro summon. I'm like, this is about to be surgical precision. Uh, that the world has never seen before. Needle Fiber or Don bring out three tokens and Despot 01. Uh, make Yazi. I'm pop that shit. See you later. Bring out Taiye. Specifically keeping up Zephyr Nui on the field. Uh, I'm gonna put these two over here into Baxia. See you later. Uh, see you later again. And then uh, I'm gonna at this point I'm gonna go uh, Baxia effect. Just debating what the special summon. Uh, with that I. Yeah, so I'm debating. I'm going to go Cheng Ying. I'm very close to game here. Yeah, I go Cheng Ying. I go Oradon. Pop Cheng Ying. Banish your shit. Attack for 8,000. Oh, my God. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Because of the cards that were banished, Cheng Ying was enough to attack for game. And y'all see that? I fucking OTK'd through DPE, Droplets, Griffin, full Salamangrade setup with like five cards. Bro, Pendulum, best deck? I don't want to hear it. Ah, let's go. This finals is mine. When I go to the finals, losing the dice roll, clapping up brave DPE trash. Like, let's go. You already know the match is going to go in my favor. Let's go. Sign it mining Aquamancer. That is pretty cool, I must say. But it won't be cool enough, baby. It won't be cool enough. If you guys want to see more surgical precision, you're about to witness it. Let's go. Penba's deck. Let's go. For everyone who's got this far, man, you guys got to. You guys gotta smash the subscribe button and like button because if I'm clapping these boards up right now, damn, damn.
Panda's best tag, bro. You can't tell me otherwise. Let's go. So he's gonna set up, you know, this is a classic, uh, gonna go classic Salamangrate plays. He's gonna go Stalio. He's gonna set up a crazy follow up of Salamangrate follow up and all that. I'm like, that's all right. That's all right. I see Stalio. I'm like, yo, you can't verte. I'm good. I'm good. He goes Wolf. I'm like, yeah, yo, you, you get all the plus you want. I'm clearing a board. It's okay. You can put up 20 monsters. You get the Konami can change the rule just for just for this deck. Uh, just for you, my guy. They could change the rule that you're allowed to have 20 monsters to the five. I'm still OTK. I'm still OTK. Don't matter. At this point, he's like, I'm going to try and make Verte, but he can't because he activated Stalio. I'm like, sorry, brother. You can't do that. You got to gotta put that Verte away. Well, no, the Verte still stays. It's just he can't activate the effects of fi uh, non-fire monsters. So DPE cannot come out. Uh, so that's good for us. I go normal Moye. Uh, I believe I bricked so fucking hard. Yeah, I, I fucking bricked so hard, guys. I literally just had to attack that and pass. <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro, I bricked hella hard. And um, this is the issue of putting in too many hand traps. Uh, it's very disappointing, man. Very, very disappointing game right here. Fuck. It, it, you know what? You're bound to brick every now and then. You go access. I, I imperm that. Uh, make sure I put under the fateful column. Uh, damn. Uh, I think I imperm and then, yeah. I think I impermed and then Valor the Griffin or something along those lines. Uh, but nah, dude. Or Gold Slugger. Yeah, fuck, man. Actually disappointing. Fusion Destiny from hand. I Ash. Uh, I've worked, I drew all hand traps. I probably shouldn't have cited so much hand traps against him, but uh, against decks like this, uh, you don't need to play hand traps. You just play pendulums and you defeat them. Uh, the hand traps just get in your way. Uh, he's going to attack, attack. I have one more turn here. I, I, I draw Zephyrath. I'm like, all right, can we get somewhere? Uh, we all are, our whole hand was hand traps and we're going to lose that. That's, that's a downside of citing too many hand traps. In my opinion, guys, side deck wise, from my experience here is Man, side deck, a lot of hand trap against scythe decks, against combo decks. Against mid-range decks like Silent Man Great. Who the fuck cares about one DP, one Griffin, and like one Rage? I don't give a shit. What the heck? Pendulums eat that shit for breakfast nine out of ten times. I would rather six pendulum cards than four pendulum cards and two hand traps. Because they don't get like, you know, they get in your way. So that's a huge lesson to be learned. Even I'm le I learned a lesson right there. I should not side too much. Only side deck a lot against combo decks. Side deck the whole fucking world for that. Here, we set this up. I go contract. I want to see if it resolves. I bring out Shishao. Shishao, I want to also get this out of the deck so I can draw. I'm desperately searching for a, a scale here, I believe, with my draw. I want to draw scale. Uh, I search for Shishao. I bring out Long Yuan. I bring out Baron. At this point, we're protected from, from Nibiru, so I could freely play at this point. I'm like, all right, how do I want to do this? There's so many lines of plays. Uh, I set up Kepler is my only high scale, sadly. So I have to pendulum summon my Lamia. This makes it so uh, I saw you play Ghost Spell. So if that's what Owan got Ghost Spell, I could still bring a Lamia from the graveyard by pendulum summon the Lamia. That's what happens. Like sometimes you don't have scales, but you still get the pendulum summon your Lamia with that Kepler play. Uh, and then here I'm going to go into Taye. Taye. I'm going to uh, banish the Moye. Yeah, there's a lot of plays at this point. There's a lot of plays at this point. He Ghost Spells. Uh, he can't ghost spell Taye because it's a, ban a cost to banish. If he ghost spell the dust ball on one, I had the Lamia, which he was aware of, so it didn't, it didn't matter. Wouldn't have affected anything. Uh, I got Baxia here. Uh, he back. I believe he's gonna have Baxia the effect uh, of Baxia special summon, which does hurt us. It does hurt us. No, I believe I kept on a field. I went Lamia. I believe he's debating what he wants to ghost spell. Uh, I bring out Herald instantly. Uh, I guess he wasn't expecting it, so the ghost spell is just stuck in his hand now. I bring out the old one. He's kind of asleep at the helm there because I just did it uh, like that. I bring out Chao Feng and uh, I pass my turn to him. Uh, Chao Feng's not going to do much against him, but uh, it's a card that I want to pop uh, to build a search Ghost Ogre or Valor or something like that. So I have Herald. I negate that. Uh, I'm still good here. I'm still good to go. Like, there's not much he can do in this scenario. Uh, the only thing he can do in this scenario is one thing and one thing only, baby. That one thing is to recognize that the best deck is Pendulum. Block up, pop both. Chang Wing, search Ghost Ogre. Chang Wing, pen best deck. This is what it means. One thing and one thing only that we were victorious. We won 5 0. 5 0 at the locals. We won, baby. Pen best deck. To be expected. Every locals, we're going to win. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Title. Champion, let's go! Yo, Ray, where you at? Ray was talking bear shit. Where is he? Yo, Ray!
Yo, you said I was ass at five old your whole locals. Oh! Great, I'm gonna come for first place. Hey, Juan Noel, should you come for first place? Everyone in the GTA area should come to GameNation.com at uh, .com. Should come to GameNation and duel. <laughs> The other guy who tied also lost. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Pembe's deck. All right, guys. So, Ray's going to open for me. I need an illusion of chaos so we can play Magician Souls. I believe in Ray. I believe in Ray. I'm telling you right now, we're playing an illusion. All right, you got dark. It's like four bucks. Oh, nice. It's good. I need it in my deck. Dasher. One less card I have to buy. What's a Dasher, bro? All right, that's not good. That's, that's straight garbo. Oh, I should check for the Dark Magicians. My bad, bro. That could be a thing. The what? The ultra rare dark magician. Oh. It's like 150. Oh, nice. Let's go, baby. All right, this, this is a bad ultra. It's poo poo. Yo, huh? it is, but hey, an ultra rare, one ultra richer. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the super is kind of. That super is bomb, man. That could be like a $6 card. It's okay. Illusion. Illusion. A law illusion. He's opening the other packs. He's got them. Illusion. No, you got it. Illusion right. of Chaos. Right here, right now, baby. I'm an OTS pack. Well, at least I got my third token for Oradon. Alright, let's do this. Mm. What are you doing those noises for exactly, right? What noises? What the heck? Vampire or something. Oh, we don't need that. Delicious. Hello? Sauce? Bro, hello, Illusion of Chaos. Yo, your box is about to be insane, everyone else. <laughs> you got half the box because you're getting a secret. I don't want this shit. Oh, that's good, that's good. It's like 10 bucks. Okay, DDs are still last, guys. It's a pendulum. Let's see if you can play it now. Huh? You can play it now. I know you don't have it's, it's that's an NADD, bro. Oh, yeah, any, no, but not Kepler, right? Three DD. Yeah, yeah, and fuck. Right, well, I'm sure there's some way we could do it. Bro, where's my Illusion of Chaos? Who was your last pack? If Victor's right, I'm giving him the Illusion of Chaos. Look at that head. To borrow for one minute. <laughs> Look at that forehead. That's how you fix the card. <laughs> the heck is this? Look at that guy. Mm, at Sales ban. <laughs> is it worth anything? No. It's like six bucks. We're six box richers, baby. Okay, Victor said this is it. Look at that face. Victor said this is it. Okay, yum, yum, baby. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, yum, yum. Sorry, buddy. It's okay, we still have two OTS packs. Alti. Alti. Did you get a token? I have a token now. I have three. All right, Alti. Alti. What? Would you get another token? You can't. It's foil. It's foil. You're not that strong. Oh god! This is what happens when you go to the gym, boys. He skips all days. Mmm. Look at that face. Yum. You are so uh, okay. Let's go. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. And Demian Brave is here. Let's go.